Welcome to Greenwood Bonsai today here in Nottingham. We're just going into early part of autumn here and we're trying to catch up on things that we need to do before winter as leaves are changing colour and we're going to start, a lot of trees are going to start to drop the leaves in the coming weeks. This tree here, the reason we're working on this today, this is a swamp cypress, also known as a bald cypress, a taxodium. It's a tree we've had for about 20 years or so. It was originally imported from China by my father and uh, I've been waiting to trim this tree for a number of years. The year before last it didn't have a very good year, it got quite dry. These trees like a lot of moisture and it had got a little bit dry and it had suffered because of it and it didn't have a very good year. So last year in uh, 2020 it didn't have much leaf cover at all, it was, it was quite weak. So we fed it well last year and watered it well and then this year 2021 we've done the same we fed it and we've watered it quite well so it's now looking a lot more full than it was a couple of years ago and what i need to do with this tree it's just been growing for a couple of years untrimmed and you can see it's a big tree anyway it's got quite wide and a bit out of control now what i want to do i want to bring it back in to control give it a better shape and wire it and shape it. The reason I'm doing this at this time of year is in spring, I wanted to wire it, but I missed my opportunity to wire it. In spring, they've got a very indistinct bud on these branches. And the year before, because it was a bit weak, I wasn't sure which branches had life in them and which didn't. If you look in here, there's little shoots here that have died off here and here. And then there's also live ones so about late feb beginning of march when i had the time to perhaps get this wired i couldn't tell which was alive and which was which wasn't so we decided to let it grow this spring and summer and this is what we've got now so i've got this tree what i'd like to do i want to trim it now for shape while it's in leaf and then i want to wire it when it's not in leaf because trimming it now i can see the shape of it easier because I can judge the canopy and where the foliage sits. And then once it drops its leaves, even just in a few weeks time, well, it will allow me to wire it and it'll be a lot easier, quicker to wire. Now it's a big tree, if I can get it wired quicker when it's got no leaves on it, it's gonna be an easier job for me. But if I don't trim it now, it's gonna be harder. So we're gonna give it a good trim back. It's in a sort of 90 centimetre pot. So it's in quite a large, bonsai pot fairly deep we do manage to give it keep it uh, well watered in this pot here in the uk but i've also got some other options here and i particularly like this oval pot because in a few weeks when this goes like golden orange and red i thought this color would really suit it the trouble is this red here this pot's 10 centimeters uh 10 centimeters shorter on the length this is like, a, uh, that's about a 90. I think this is about a 70, 72. Uh, so it's even shorter than that. And then this green one is a little bit longer. Now, I think these are gonna be too small for this tree. We won't know fully whether they're gonna be too small, because some of that depends on what size the tree ends up in the next 10 to 15 minutes. We've also got an option of this beautiful handmade Chinese rectangle pot. And this is about an 85 centimetre pot. So this also might be suitable. However, the one it's in is also suitable. We could just repot it back into that pot. So what we're gonna do with this tree in, in the next year or so, it's gonna be trimmed today. It's gonna to be wired sometime this winter, time dependent. And we're gonna do, we'll do a video on that to show you. And then next spring, before it comes into leaf, it's going to be repotted either back into this pot that it's in or into this one or into this rectangle and we'll do a video on that also so this is hopefully the first video of a two or three part series so if you haven't done already please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos um, on, on these trees you can follow the progress because bonsai is not you know it's not a 15 minute job or 20 minute job you know i know i work quite quick when i'm doing demonstrations i work quite quick here when I'm working on trees been doing it for years but it's just it's just a snapshot of what we're doing 
and this tree we've got plans for this tree over the next four or five years we're just doing the first segment of it so let me show you what we're going to do so we need a large concave pruner slightly smaller concave pruner and a pair of greenwood scissors and you know i'm not going to talk too much about how to look after these trees there's a lot of information about that in the uk these are quite rare we don't see them much yeah and i know that some of you will be watching from the united states and you, you you're much more familiar with this as a species than i am yeah, we don't work on them too much so i know there's really good cultural care information coming out of southern united states where you guys work an awful lot with bald cypress so i'll leave that to you i'm going to concentrate concentrate more on the pruning and the shaping of this tree now also i know that naturally these often grow of more of like a flat topped tree now personally for me with this tree that isn't an image i'm trying to create it i'm going to try and create a more bonsai like shape with a broader domed top so i'm not going for the, i'm not trying to mimic ones that we see in other parts of the of the world i'm just trying to do my thing with this tree so again some of you might think you prefer more naturalistic style you you, you might favor to shape this tree more flat top like the trees that you see in nature i don't see those trees in nature in the uk so rather than mimic a tree that is that occurs somewhere else in the world i'm just going to do my thing with this tree yeah so the top of this is going to be the problem with this tree because there's lots of crossing branches in the top so because the top of this is going to be awkward i'm going to start at the bottom all right the unusual thing with this tree is they normally grow very very straight and the remarkable thing with this i think is the movement in the trunk and also the taper in the tree from this buttress here the nabari the surface roots movement coming up the tree beautiful bark that's what makes this tree quite unusual so if we start down here at the base the front is in here the, the other side isn't bad but this is the best view of the tree we've got a couple of sprouts that have just started to come out on the trunk they've just occurred the last couple of years so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get in with a concave pruner like i say this pruning is a prerequisite to actually wiring and shaping this tree so now because it's in leaf you see i can clearly see that these branches here they didn't do anything and they've died off so we can prune those back but it's budding from the branch quite well so i might leave a little bit of that this one around here has died off so that's why as i explained earlier i'm doing this work at this time of year so i can differentiate between the different areas of growth on this tree so here this is growing up a bit too much now bearing in mind i know that i'm going to end up wiring this tree in coming weeks so i will be able to position these branches a little bit more so i'm holding this one down with my finger i know this is going to sit about here when i've wired the tree so it's a matter of just taking out these dead bits neatening it all up this is growing up a little bit too much here but we can we can wire it down into this area we can take a few of these off here we've got a little dead section around here and we've got a few little bits of growth coming out right at the start of the branches that's quite fine so that can just be pulled off with your fingertips or trimmed back I'm going to leave this shoot here and although it looks like it's growing up too much it's going to be wired down horizontal into there yeah. so along the branch and inevitably i'm going to cut this back quite a bit particularly in the top of the tree where it's got quite broad but i do want to also retain some taper to the branch if we can so i'm trying to avoid just trimming it back to stubs trying to trim it back and make it look a bit elegant if we can so a bit more work in here there's a dead stub in here this length branch is going to work well on this sort of this sort of part of the tree I'll shorten these back here little dead stub in here and then where it's putting all this cluster of growth out i'm just going to thin some of that out as we work our way along the branch so working our way around to the front we've just got a few bits to finish off in this area 
and some of these branches i'm taking them back a bit short at the moment ultimately i want this branch to be about here but i've took it back further so i can then grow it for, grow it back out to create a bit more taper so some will look a little bit stumpy at the moment but in future we'll rectify that the next couple of years so we're shortening them back quite a bit at the moment back into here you see this one here growing quite strongly upwards yeah that's quite thick so that's not going to necessarily wire down more horizontal so that can be trimmed back at that sort of level and this into here this one probably here is a little bit too too long in fact we could probably shorten that back into here so then let's have a look at the front of the tree going in here shorten this one back can you see this is a good horizontal branch here and this one here is growing up too much not only is it growing up it's then coming back in and across the tree and because these grow so abundantly you know if we needed to we could keep it we could wire it around here but i'd be better off removing it getting rid of that fault and just growing these out in this direction to fill in where we need them to fill in so that one back into there like that shorten that back and the top of this tree is always going to be a bit of an issue because it's had more vigor at the top and because we've let it grow and put a lot of vigor into the top of the tree it has meant that these lower branches weren't putting on as much growth but because this has now grown so wild and be a bit harder on the top of the tree to trim it back in so i'm going to come straight back into this sort of area a couple of dead branches in here that can be taken off and then let's have a little look at what we've got here these are going to come down into here this branch here i reckon we can lose that all together this section here this is quite good in here but we've got some dead shoots off there so let's just trim that back like this into here now so this branch is going to sit here once it's wired so it's a bit strange at the moment because i when i'm trimming this obviously i've got a bit more of an idea about where these branches are going to be i know when i trim this that this is going to sit just here now some of you you'll also know that when i wire that that's going to sit there some of you if you're new to bonsai it, you know you, you've got no way of knowing that that's going to actually live there so i know that's going to live there so i am pruning with that in mind now you see this one that i've just cut back you see it coming out of here let me knock this growth off so you can have a look see where it comes out here there's that one there this is a secondary apex and then this is a funny little thing growing in the middle of all those so we don't need that we're going to take it out if i come around this side i should be able to get in there closer with the concave pruner take it right back into there so let's get that done and then we can trim the rest of these back and this growth on this side will keep a little bit here but we'll shorten this back like so and then the top of the tree is also a strange one because we've got structurally we've got this at the back good movement coming up here to the top and then we've got this growth coming up the front here well we could potentially keep both so we can create a broader apex to this tree so i think initially i'm going to retain some of this one and see how it progresses this is a bit too clunky coming up here i'm going to be tight on this top i'm going to come right back into here yeah be a bit a little bit hard on it we know this is going to live here and then this this branch here oh, it's a bit of a strange branch this is let's come back in to here yeah be quite hard on this section because I want to create some taper in to the top of the tree. So like this, and then this one here, this is coming back into the tree I don't want. Can you see it's coming off this branch here, coming out here. Now this is good, nice and horizontal, but this one here isn't. So I'm gonna lose that whole section coming up there. And then up here to the top of the tree, I'm gonna also shorten this back to here and this one here we don't want coming up there and then we're going to come up this section here that's quite nice as part of the apex 
and then I'm not going to need this one. That one's going up too much. That one's going up too much to the rear. So let's just have a, have a look. Get back round here. Now this one here, that's a strange branch because it's coming out and going back through there. And I think this branch here is nice and these branches here are good. But this one is cutting out, cutting here, coming through the two. That's a jumble. So that's going to go all together to lighten up that area of the tree. And what we're going to do when we wire, we're going to bring this branch here down to fill in. We don't need this section. So this one here is going to come down, fill in quite nicely like that. Around the back of the tree, again, shorten it back. This one we want to be here, sorted with this. That one's good. This one coming up to here. These little thin ones in here we don't need. I'm really looking forward to how this tree is going to progress next year because once it's had this pruning it won't hold it back if anything it will it will invigorate it and rather than putting on this growth and it'd be wasted growth you know it's been growing and recovering but it's wasted a lot of it because we're now trimming it back what we'll do in future we'll work with the growth that it's putting out more so it won't be wasted growth we can uh, we can we'll be able to utilize it much much better now can you see here we've got a nice horizontal branch here but this one is coming up from there it's have a look from around here you can see it coming up like this so we're going to shorten that back hard into there to get rid of that let's have another look i'll work my way back around to the front and no doubt there's a few bits that we've missed like I say, the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm trimming this so that I can see the foliage and how it's going to shape the tree. Because I didn't do it in spring because I couldn't tell really which branches had got life in them and which were struggling and didn't have any life in them. So we just let it grow. Now we can see what growth we've got on it. A few little dead bits in there. Now let's stand back and have a look. I think this here is still a bit too long. This tip can shorten into here, like that. We've got a couple of little dead bits in here. So we've tapered this into the top more, but she'll, we can develop this as, we're still going for quite a broad crown, a broad dome on the top of this tree. So that's why I haven't brought it down to just one single line to the apex. We've kept some depth with this coming forward, that going back. So we're going to create fill in here quite nicely. Dropping down here, but we've kept some of the width in these lower sections. And let's just have another look at these branches and see what we can chase back. And as it buds out and grows, grows next year, again, I've kept this one, look. It's coming up and across. And that can come back a little bit. And this piece of growth just here into here this can be wired down so there's the odd piece that i still think oh that looks out of place but in actual fact once this is wired this is going to fall into place quite easily so another probably another another three to four weeks here once it's gone through autumn color and dropped Probably, I won't get around to doing it probably till the new year or so. We'll just see how we go. But obviously, once it's dropped its leaves, it's so much easier to get in here with some wire and wire these down. They're not particularly easy tree to wire. When you wire them down, you can wire them to shape. And when you take the wire off it, the branches can often spring back and get out of shape. So potentially, we might use some guy wires to pull a few of these branches down. That's a technique we might use. You've seen me do that before on other trees. Anyhow, there's a few little stubs and bits we've cut off in there. Just go through, neatening it up. So now, obviously we've reduced the size of this tree quite a lot, um, which might have a bit of a bearing up on these, these choice of pots that we've got here. And I still don't think it's come down small enough 
to go into this part. If you just look at the actual length or the width of the root here, from there, look, to here. So it's a, it's a concave pruner plus about four inch. So if you put that in here, concave pruner plus about four inch, the roots are gonna go pretty much from here to there. It's not gonna leave a lot of perimeter of soil to catch water. So this oval, this uh, sorry, this rectangle obviously is a potential uh, to be potted on, or maybe it will just eventually go back into this oval. This isn't a bad pot for it, it's quite nice. I've just seen it in this pot for a number of years and I got excited about putting it into a sort of, into this sort of red glazed pot. But um, we'll see, the pot choice will be something we can decide once we've got it wired and shaped. So my idea is to get these branches brought down more uh, and distribute this foliage a bit better so I can get a good structural framework on this tree that we can build on next year. I can't, it's difficult with this tree, you know, we've started our YouTube journey this year and uh, so it's hard for me to describe what this looked like a couple of years ago, but we really didn't have all this foliage on it. I know you're thinking, well, it had a lot of foliage on it 10 minutes ago and I've, I've cut quite a bit of it off, but we've cut this, this foliage off so we can go forward with new foliage that it's gonna put out in the next few years. We're following a sort of four or five year plan with this tree to get it back to what it needs to be. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And um, for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration. Thank you very much.